All right, traders, welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. And before we take a look at the markets, though, be aware of our free indicators. Check out this website for web page, I should say, for uh, free and paid indicators from Elite Currency. Also, of course, SWAT is available where you can uh, check out how I trade the waves, but also discretionarily and rules based systems. There'll be new updates coming very soon. Uh, I've mentioned that before, but they are very, you know, they are coming very soon. It's a, uh, it's a question of uh, one or two months. And of course, ECS live for live trading and live analysis. All right. So this is the euro dollar for our chart. And uh, we basically had a higher low and a lower low. So we indicated, we you know, indicated a downside of reversal and that's what we got and a continuation lower break below the 20 May as well. And now price is testing the previous bottom. So, if it is a bearish continuation, what I'm looking for basically is a mild kind of correction that could test the 21 EMA like this, but stay below it and bounce the 20 EMA zone for continuation lower. If that happens, I would consider that to be a bearish pattern and I would uh, look for a bounce in the 21 EMA for continuation lower. And uh, we could see a break of the previous bottom here at 110, 109, 109.88 or something like that. And uh, there could be a continuation down to WIS 7. And uh, that is an important level at 109.46. I'll tell you why. Because of the fib from here to here, like that. And we also have a head and shoulders pattern, potentially. Left head, left shoulder, excuse me. Uh, head and right shoulder. And uh, the 78.6 fib level as well at that uh, with 7. So that's an important zone. That could be a balancing spot. It really depends on how price responds there. If it falls and there's a close in reverse, then uh, I'm leaning towards more upside, in fact. Uh, if price falls but there is a flag then there's a fair chance that price will break through the 88 78 and previous bottom and the full downtrend is in place so it's a difficult spot uh, i was leaning towards this being up a abc for b and up for c that's still possible uh, as long as price either uh, respects 110 or these two fibs but we have to see uh if it really respects that for the moment there is very strong bearish price action so, uh, and we had also a, a clear fractal hanging below the 21 EMA. So from that perspective, uh, it is looking a little bit more bearish. And I think that, you know, a continuation lower towards these fibs seems a little bit less, uh, more likely at this moment. But I would like to see a good correction on the lower time frames. Uh, on the one hour chart, for instance, and the four hour chart, I would like to see a flag move into the 21 EMA, a, a bounce, and then a continuation lower. I think that would be a good bounce from 104.5. 50, sorry, 110, 45, excuse me, I'm getting these numbers mixed up. Apologies for that. 110, uh, 40, 110, 45, 110, 50. That should be fine as a bouncing spot, I think. If for a miraculous reason, uh, you know, this is just an ABC, well, my miraculous is maybe too harsh, but uh, let's say that this is ABC because there is a five wave pattern here as well, one could see. So if ABC is finished, then we can also put the fib from here to here, like that. And uh, there could be a bounce of 110.10 at 109.99, so let's say 110. Uh, and those could be fibs that are used for a bounce. If there is a strong close in reverse like that, okay, and then the flag, I'm bullish. So it really depends on the price action at this moment. I cannot say at this moment 100% what I will do or trade. Uh, right here. It really depends on how price responds to this zone. If it flies up, I'm looking for a flag and I'm bullish. But I don't expect that. For the moment, I am expecting the flag bounce at 110.45 for continuation down to 109.45. That is my uh, preference of what I expect and that's a trade I would find interesting as well. Uh, I would also find interesting if it does move up like that in the flag. I would have nothing against trading that, by the way, but it just doesn't seem that likely at this moment. Uh, once it gets in here, I don't know. Question mark. It, I really, it depends on how price responds to this zone. 50-50, I guess. But what I do can say is that uh, if, it, uh, if it pushes through 108.78, then we're definitely back in the downtrend. So uh push through that looking for basically flags on the hourly chart and continuations lower again uh, very simply so i hope it helps a little bit i mean i know it depends a little bit on the price action that uh, you know we see in the next days and how price responds to uh basically to 109.40 uh how price responds to this 110 110.10 
And then I really will, based on that, I will really make up my mind and, and make the final kind of decision about the trades that I think are interesting for, uh, for this week. Okay? But considering this strong momentum down, yeah, I think that there's a flag looking good for downside. For me, upside would only be interesting if really I see a strong push above the 21 EMA and the 144 and then a weak pullback and then a bounce. That's that's really the only way. All right, pound dollar. Sorry, maybe a bit too lengthy, but uh, pound dollar, yes. Uh, making ABC, ABC, complex correction, ABC, with the break below 129, confirmed ABC back down as well. Uh, so the break below is 129, very important because that confirmed the complex correction that confirmed the ABC here and the ABC here. And I think the price is likely to go back to the bottom of this trend line. Uh, it is in a uh, in a kind of a flag pattern here like that. So it could easily go back to the bottom. 127.50 round level, of course, uh, could be a, you know a typical target for such a wave C uh, as well. And uh, the wave C could easily have five waves. So we're in one, two, three. If we get a wave four, that would be perfect for wave five. The wave five could be extended with a one, two, three, four, five in the wave five. Could take price all the way back to 127.50 or down to 127.50. Uh, so I'm looking for a bear flag here that respects the 21 EMA preferably and, uh, and shows a turn. So it doesn't have to be a big bear flag necessarily, but a little bit of a flag would be nice. I mean, it would be great if it hit 128.50 for instance. And uh, as long as it stays below 128.75, remains bearish. If it breaks above 129, of course, that would change things. That could make it bullish again. Maybe ABC is finished, but uh, that does not seem so likely at this moment. So flag 128.50, boom, down to 127.70, 127.50. Uh, that looks like a great move for the beginning of next week on the pound dollar. But once it gets there, if it does get there, of course, then decision spot again at the bottom of that bull flag. This would be only the first break of the 21 EMA, so I don't think it will go too far. I think it will respect the bottom of the bull flag channel. And I think there will be a, a good chance there will be a bounce at 127.50. Looking for bullish candlestick patterns at the 1 or 4 hour chart at 127.50 I think makes sense. And uh, it could make a, a new rally up into 129 again I think. Uh, which is the next decision spot. And uh, there could be break. Break of the bear, uh, bull flag for upside or again a bounce. Uh, we'll have to see uh, how price looks like when it is moving up. If it breaks through 127.50. Well, that would change things you know, significantly if there's a strong bearish candle that can push through 127.50 like that. That could indicate the total weakness and um, a continuation lower to 126 and 125, very likely. Bear flags on the one hour chart after the uh, breakout candle uh, make a lot of sense for continuation lower. All right, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for joining. I um, hope to see you, of course, in the next video. Wish you all great trading and great days. Cheers. Bye-bye.